Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. Out of gas, huh? That's nice. How can it be possible? No gas. The gauge says full. Bless its little needle. What are you banging on the panel for? Yeah. Now the gauge says empty. I thought I told you to have this gauge fixed, sailor. Well, the garage man totted me off at Slate. He said what I needed was a foxtail for the radiator cap. Mm, how that man could All talk. All right, we walk. Come on, sailor. You know how far it is to Puente Sombra? Eight miles. Foxtails. But think how lucky we are. Here we are treading the same path as pirates of old. That's what I call real romantic and educational. Rustro del Pirata. The trail of the pirates. Think of the swashbucklers and the doubloons and the pieces of eight and those jolly, jolly Rogers that... Hey, hey, look. There's a truck parked up there. Maybe we can borrow some gas. Come on. Hey, mister. Hey, you, behind the wheel. Tell him we'll pay for the gas late. Hey, something's wrong with him. What? El Indio. Because of him. He's been shot. Uh, because El Indio. El Indio. <sighs> Bad slate? Dead. Hey, wait a minute. What's the matter? Something. Something. I don't know. You smell anything funny, sailor? What are we going to do about him? That's in the back part of the truck. Nitric acid. Hey, look at this. See? Fragments from a crock. Stamp Juniper Chemical Company, New York City. Sure, that's what happened. Look, Slate, I took the commercial course in high school. I never had chemistry. What did? What happened? That man up front was hauling crocks of nitric acid. There, those rings of dust on the floor. He was hijacked. One crock was broken. Now what? Well, we'll siphon some gas and we'll ride to Point of Sombra. Maybe they'll want to know a man is dead. <laughs> Return the manuscripts, Senor Cambria. See how delicate I have been with them. They are as they were when you gave them to me from their glass case. Our library is grateful, Senorita Marta. You have absorbed the exquisite value of the legend of El Indio. I, and my father also. You spoke of restoration, Senorita. I give you an oath. I will restore to your father the political eminence that was once his. On the memory of El Indio, I swear it. Hmm. El Indio, who once held Havana in his hand, who was burned at the stake. And who swore in flame that he would return with terror. The time is here, senorita. The man is here, your father. In him, El Indio comes back for his Havana. <laughs> you are an historian with passion. The vision that was given to me when... When, senor Cambria? Tell me. You once put your fan to my cheek, Marta. Historian of passion. Walk in my father's shadow and in mine. Slash the heart of Havana and bring it bleeding to us. Bring it to us on your knees. And for this? For this, historian, your lips may be touched. I give you Havana, and you... You have greed, Senor Cambria? Wipe it from your mouth. 
It is unbecoming to a man of learning. Adios, Senor Cambria. Well, here it is, sailor. Quite a sombra. Quite a nothing town, isn't it? Let's get out. There's a restaurant over there. I want to call Havana and tell Inspector LaSalle what... Are you listening to me? That man in the truck, he was saying something. El Indio. I wonder what he was trying to tell us. El Indio. El Indio means the Indian in Spanish. Now, come on, sailor, out of the jeep. How do I know what he was trying to say? That... Now who's doing it? Doing what? How many times have you told me to leave something alone? All right, a guy's killed, murdered. Doesn't concern us. I'll be a good citizen and let the authorities know what happened. I don't want any part of it. El Indio. Murder on a pirate's trail. Maybe. Maybe. I'll cut it out, will you? You want something to eat? I'll meet you at the counter. I'm going to use that phone booth and... No, no, I'm not hungry. Maybe El Indio was a pirate. Maybe... I beg your pardon? After me, Buster. I got to this phone booth first. This will only take uh, a... Wait. Wait. Did you two just come out of that trail? Now, listen to me. I gotta know. I saw you. I saw your jeep drive out of the Rosto del Parado. So? Please, please. We, we can't talk here. Why not? You've got to listen. These people, they, they might hear. Now, just outside. Just outside of the door. Okay, Buster. Let's have it your way. Let's go. I'll mind the phone booth, Slate. Now, you too, sailor. Let's listen to what's on this Buster's mind. Okay. You saw the truck, didn't you? You saw what happened to Via. You saw how he was murdered. Via, huh? That's his name. How do you know? Over there on the beach. I'll tell you about it. Sand under the shoe means beach, mister. Okay. I killed Via, friends. With you know what? With this. You want to hear it go bang again? I don't. Do you, Slate? Okay, Buster. You got a problem. Put the heater away and we'll form a circle on the sand and have it. Turn a... around. Both of you, turn around. Thanks. Now thank me for what I'm going to do. <laughs> Stop biting your lip, honey. I always do before I get hit over the head with a gun. I should have told Slate. Makes it easier. Let's go riding, baby. You and me. That jeep of yours. You be nice. Maybe your friend will live. But only maybe. Uh, that stroke you're using, sailor. Keep at it. Uh, you get conked on the head and your fingers go so soft. <laughs> Open your eyes, Lee Shannon. Ah, uh, you open them for me. Mm hmm The left. The right. Ah, and they are open. And they are the color of the seas. Uh, yeah, catch a lot of fish that way. Hey, you know what? Tell me. You're not sailor. Oh, your voice has delight in it. <laughs> yeah, and I'll tell you why. As long as I've got my head in a lap that doesn't belong to sailor, I'm delighted sailor's not around. To do, do what? Slate, Shannon. Uh, not sunny. It's too complicated. You can take over the right ear now. Ah, they see, here is where memory lies. I touch it with gentleness. It reminds you of something? Yeah, yeah, that too. Brings back a guy who didn't want me to use a phone. Brings back a pirate's trail with a hijacked nitro truck. And a dead driver at the wheel. And a name, El Indio. <laughs> Say, honey, baby, that's no way to heal the sick. The slap was only a hint. Don't go too far. This was to impress upon you to forget a child's fancies of pirate's trails, of El Indio. You gonna give me new memories, baby? If you desire them, you have a choice. This that you beg, or the quick death that waits with hunger for you. Uh-uh. Let it wait. What's that you were saying about the color of my eyes, honey? Try to remember while we take a walk. I need refreshment.
Listen, LaSalle, I've got a girl chin deep in ice cream over at the counter. She's looking toward this phone booth right now. I want you to meet me on the Rastro del Pirato. I'll give you the rest there. You tell me you ran out of gas. You tell me you found a dead man in a truck. A man puts lumps on your head with a gun. And a girl took them away with her lips. Thank you for phoning in the funny paper, Shannon. The Rastro del Parado, La Salle, eight miles out of Pointe Sombra. Ring your policeman's whistle. We'll blow up a storm. Yeah, you drive well, honey. Driving me along a coast highway and... Why did you slug Slate? It's a question. Slugging does things. Makes a man remember and forget. Depends on the how and why. In Shannon's case, it's to forget what he saw on the trail. I take you now. As long as I got you, I'm thinking Slate won't remember a thing. He'll just... Hey, you're pushing 60, baby. Take it easy. I don't... What? Hey, you crazy? Hey, watch it. The curve. Hey, did you want to kill us? Can't hear you. Baby, baby, listen. Slow it up. This hill would... You'll kill us, you crazy fool. This gun. I'm not kidding. I'll kill you. Watch it. Watch it. Noisy night, ain't it? Can't hear a word. That curve, you'll never make it. Oh, curve. Yeah. Thanks a lot. And there's a sand dune, soft one. I'd try that if I were you. I'd jump. Hey. Jump us, so help me we go off the road under those rocks. Ah! Happy sand dune, baby. <laughs> The woman who held your little head in her apron. Where is she, Shannon? I bought her another ice cream soda and Pointe Sombra. And your Miss Duval. Where did you misplace her? I told you. Last I saw of her, she was waiting to get a beat over the head. I guess she didn't make it. Anyway, she wasn't around when... And the truck with the nitric acid and a wounded man whispering El Indio into your convenient ear. It's around that bend. You'll know it from the corpse draped around the steering wheel. We are it. around the bend, Senor Shannon. Will you please polish my glasses? The dust on them permits me not to see no truck. Huh. Was here, LaSalle, right here. Uh -huh. A beat-up two-ton with the smell of nitric acid in it and a... A dying man, you said. A man who died before your eyes of bullet wounds. Where has he walked to, this dead man, Senor Shannon? Look, he was here. I got his blood on my coat. Sailor could... And Sailor Duval is also not here to corroborate, eh? You are a lonely man, Senor with delusions of mayhem. Give me your head so I too may bang on it. Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. They ride in the night on a pirate's trail, run out of gas, walk on feet so frail. Come on, a man in a two-ton truck Whose blood flows away with his lady luck Go to the town to report the dead For civic spirit gets blow on the head Lady sailor dump rascal on soft sand dune Leave Mr. Slate in usual swoon He ought to be back from it by now, King. When one receives such a blow in the skull, Lady Sailor, one is apt to forget the way home. Well, let's not build a wake out of it, huh, King? What is left to build? You throw a villain from a hurtling jeep? I was doing 85, King. 
Loneliness makes you exaggerate, Lady Sailor. Our jeep can't do. Don't argue with me, King. I tell you that speedometer registered 85 when the boy got yellow and jumped. This, of course, is the same speedometer that was adjusted by the garage man who told you that what our jeep suffered was the lack of a foxtail. Well, let's not get ugly about it, King. All I care about is when I came back for Slate, he was gone. That makes my gauge register zero. It... Oh, pardon me. It just went up to 300 RPMs. Hi, Slate. Miss me, sailor? Get rid of the man who brought you, and I'll diagram you how much. LaSalle doesn't believe me, sailor. Not the dead truck driver, nor the nitric acid. Not the last words of a dying man. He said El Indio. You too, senorita Duval. You too wish to stuff my head with this kitty pablum? The fairy tale of El Indio that children laugh at inside their short sleeves? And what about the girl? The one who gave me death, or... Or what, Slate? That reminds me, what happened to you after that guy slugged me? I threw him out of the jeep going 85 miles an hour. Back up, sailor. That jeep can't do... My very words, Mr. Slate. That girl gave you death, or, uh... How come you didn't choose death, rover boy? My condolences, senorita. You have a sick man on your hands. He shows me trucks and dead that do not exist. He prattles old fables of juniper chemical companies. Uh, if he gets violent, call me, senorita. I will be glad. Adios. I look for you. I wait for you. King sings sad songs about you, and all the time I got a place for you to eat up all that curiosity, sailor. The library. Get me the rundown on an old Spanish fable, El Indio. So you can go back to that dame and... So I can find out who's getting nitric acid from the Juniper Chemical Company. May it blow up in your teeth. Get me my library card. Lover. Senorita Marta, come in, come in. It is with gratefulness and with much pleasure we greet you, Senor Cluny and I. Hiya, honey. <laughs> the Americano looks as if he suffers. How did the bruises happen to your dog? Remind me to tell you how sometime. A uh, Senorita Duval threw him out of a speeding car. Do you not think that was very brave of him? She got away from you? What difference does it make? Oh, it is a question, Senorita Marta. Admirably stated. What difference indeed? Senor? Yeah? What? In the next room, please. This exchange of money for your services should not be spied upon by a lady. If that's a custom of the land. <laughs> Done. Simply and with dispatch. Mm -hmm. And those others, the ones Senor Clooney has mentioned, Slate Shannon and Senorita Duval? Each in his own time. It will happen to them. Senorita, please. Your high heels, their clack. It makes for distraction among the scholars in our historical archives. These are men who delve into history. Well, meet a lady who's a history delver. Give me what you've got on El Indio. El Indio? Oh, you are in the wrong department, senorita. You want the children's department. I suggest it. This book on your desk, Daddy. The one that says El Indio in big red letters. Read it to me. Put it down, senorita. You are not to touch. Read it to me, Daddy, or I'll walk my high heels all over your bald skull. I am not a man of violence, Senorita. It is only that these copies are only one. It must go to the bookbinders. I do my best to dissuade borrowers from crumbling manuscripts, Senorita. They are rare. They must be handled with sensitivity. And you're the only one sensitive enough to... To give you the paltry wealth of my knowledge uh, as an apology. Uh, that El Indio is only a legend. The legend of an Indian who once was a tyrant in Habana, who was burned at the stake, and who promised to return with terror to blow up Habana for his burnt flesh. In some quarters in Habana, it is believed by frightened children. You uh, accept this apology, senorita? No, I have to check with my friend first. He's waiting outside. You'll wait, huh? Toodaloo, scholars. Over here. 
here, sailor. What are you reading? It's from the Greek, sailor, over your head. What'd you find out about El Indio? The guy in there must be nuts late. First he tried to... Come on. You can tell me on the way to Campania. Campania? We need to go there for me to tell you... For me to look at a factory that buys nitric acid from the Juniper Chemical Company. I waded through a lot of bills of lading to find it. Come on, sailor. This is your day for culture. Hand me that rock, sailor. I thought this was a sneaky operation. What are you going to do, beat your way into this factory? Just hand me the rock, the one I'm shining the flash on. Thanks. You going to crawl through that hole in the window? No, brainy one. I'm going to slide under the door. Let's get with it, sailor. Slip your hand through that hole and reach around and slip that lock. Now, you did very well. You step on my shoulder. Move the padding over a little. Get in there. Okay, sailor? What am I supposed to do now? Just wait for me. Welcome to a sulfur factory, Slate. Take it easy. Down there, there's a light on in that room. Let us bid a fun farewell to this interesting sulfur factory. Come back here. Just follow me. Ah, here they are, sailor. Here what are? All I see are crocs. Crocs I'm supposed to jump up and down about? Crocs of nitric acid. Look at the label on them. Juniper Chemical Company. The stuff that was hijacked. That truck wasn't big enough to hold all these bottles. Huh? Ain't no wonder. These brown bottles. Tolloween. Tolloween, huh? Just what I've always wanted. Don't you catch on, knucklehead? Nitric acid, Tolloween. TNT. Well, let's figure it, sailor. TNT. El Indio. El Indio. That's it, El Indio. That librarian told me El Indio was going to blow up Havana. It's except that El Indio's been dead for 300 years. That man in the truck said El Indio. We both heard him. Maybe there's something else we can hear, sailor. There's a light in that office. You said that before. No! No, don't, please! Please! What else do you want me to do for you? I've done everything. Now stand right here, sailor, against these boxes. Don't move. You killed my driver, taking over my plantation. Understand, we have much at stake, senor, upon the making of the TNT, and terrorizing of Havana depends my father's election. Get it, sailor? This terror. Terror buys a lot of votes, father. and superstition on top of terror you, buys a lot more. That's where El Indio comes from, like an evil spirit. But you've more got to terror. Me. You've got to believe me. Don't kill me, please. We must think about you. Until then, senor. <laughs> Until then, you will sleep. I enjoy you like this, Senor Cumbria. Andre, watch it, the boxes. Oh, clumsy. Who is there? Who is it? You there. I see you. Come on out. Who are you? My God. I don't understand the language. What has happened, Senor Cumbria? Uh, hi, Marta. Sleep, Shannon. Oh, you fool, go away. Your boy's hurt, Marta. Better get him in shape. We're going calling on the police. Oh, you ruined it. You ruined everything. You fool, you fool. <laughs> hey. Somebody, hey. Somebody uncrate me. Hey, Slate. Slate, look what happened to me. I'm up to my neck in sulfur. <laughs> Dip you in molasses, sailor, and you're a spring tonic. Come on, baby. Let's go for a boat ride. This time, we're going to make it, sailor. I'm going to show you this pirate's trail if it's the last thing I do. Mm-hmm. You know what? What? I sure appreciate your pointing out to me the landmarks of Cuba of today and yesterday. You find it dull, huh? Boys, you, huh? It... Now what? Ah, uh, 
here we go again. Well, good gracious, just look at that gas gauge. Empty. You filled it with gas this morning. Slate, dear, I have something to tell you. You met that man again. Mm-hmm. Didn't you notice? Now there's two foxtails on the radiator cap. All right. On your feet, kid. Start walking. It's ten miles to town. I said... Why are you putting your head on my shoulder? Oh, it's the nicest landmark I know. Come here. You think that's going to stop me from making you walk? Or that? Uh, about that walk. What about it? Forget it. Who knows when a man with a gas station will walk right by. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring... Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Ventures.